So I'd like to move into a story um, that will feel maybe quite juxtaposed against peace, but it'll make sense after I tell you a little bit more. So this story is actually called The Angry Buddha, and it's told uh, by Thich Nhat Hanh. And it's actually an old Buddhist story. It's been around for a long time. So Miss Nguyen was a woman who practiced really regularly, three times a day, in fact. She would practice by chanting over and over the, the revered name of the Buddha. So Namo is the first word, and it means just sort of a, it's a reverent word or kind of like a hollowed sense of that name. And then um, Amitabha, which is more like the infinite Buddha, the Buddha of light. And then Buddha is the last. So, so this was her practice, but the, the funny thing was that she was a very pretty angry person and kind of a mean person known in the town. And so one of the men in the town just decided he was going to point this out to her in a way that would, would you know, make sense to her, that it would really get to her. So um, he waited. He knew when he, she practiced. And so he knew when she was in the midst of her practice. So there was Miss Nguyen. And then, you know, she would ring her bell, as many of us would, and light her candle as part of her ritual. And then she would begin to chant, Namo Amitabha Buddha, Namo Amitabha Buddha. And there was the man outside her home, Miss Nguyen. Miss Nguyen, and she heard him, and she was getting a little agitated, you know, but she just decided, I'm going to ignore that, I'm just going to, it's my practice time, so she just kept, Namo Amitabha Buddha, and he continued, Miss Nguyen, Miss Nguyen, and she was feeling some anger and agitation arising more, and she said, I must struggle against my anger, and so she kept, you know, chanting, a little bit more through clenched teeth. Namo Amitabha Buddha. Namo Amitabha Buddha. And there it came again. Miss Nguyen, Miss Nguyen. She couldn't stand it. She busted out of the, the, the room and she opened up the gate and she said, why do you keep calling at me? You know I'm in the midst of my practice. And she was very, very angry. And he said, how interesting. I've only been calling your name for 10 minutes. And you have been calling Amitabha Buddha for 10 years. Imagine how angry he is with you. So anger is a part of our series theme. And today in this series that we are investigating, transforming the seven vices into virtue. Today's is to transform from anger into peace. 